Hello everyone, this is everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss about array and tuple type. In TypeScript, we have two syntax to declare array. That is let array1, which is an array of number. To declare that, we need to put number after that square bracket and then is equal to within square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the next syntax is let array 2 which is array of number is equal to within square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 functionally both are same there is no advantage of one over the other you can choose whatever you like if you are having one array of same data type that is really great but if you have a requirement to have array with multiple data types in that case how it should look like if you take the first syntax your array should look like the array 3 and if you take the second syntax your array should look like the array 4 the syntax is very simple we have added union data type here. Now, if you have a requirement to declare an array with mixed data type and a particular sequence. In that case, TypeScript is giving you tuple type to declare that type of array. What is tuple type? Let me show you. This is the format of declaring tuple type array. You have one identifier and data type. You have name that is a string data type. You have age of number data type and you have merit that is boolean data type. If you don't want to put any identifier like name, age and merit, you can take the second approach. You can simply write string comma number comma boolean. Now if I want to assign the value for this tuple array, it should be first the string and then number and after that the boolean. We need to match the sequence of the data type we have mentioned. For example, we have written Iron Man 45 and true. We cannot alter the place of the data type mentioned. For example, we cannot do Iron Man, true and 45. We got error. Type boolean is not assignable to type number. It will always check the sequence of the data type mentioned previously. We can take another example of tuple type that is tuple array 2 for which I have removed the identifier and put only the data type string number and boolean and for that we have value spiderman 25 and false spiderman is not married right yeah that's fine so now you have a proper idea of declaring arrays with all type of syntax which is available in typescript Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, bye bye. Take care.